It's been a long time since the mining update was released now, but ever since the introduction of the Mithril Infusion, I knew that I had to make a video on it at some point. I've been testing this item for about two weeks now to try to gauge how good it really is, and after letting my minions run for some time now, I've come to some pretty concrete findings. But before I do go ahead and share those with you today, I would like to mention that I do stream live over on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so if you have any further questions or comments regarding this video, feel free to visit me when I'm live over there. But with all that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty, so as you can see, today's video is going to be covering the Mithril Infusion, what the Mithril Infusion is, how good is it, how much money does it cost, whether you should use it, and just some overall information regarding the Mithril Infusion after a lot of testing that I have been doing over the past couple of weeks. So to get things started here, the most obvious thing would probably be to actually cover this item in general. So what is the Mithril Infusion? Well, if we take a look at the stats that the Mithril Infusion actually provides, it says that it permanently increases increases minion speed by 10%, and you can combine this with a minion in an anvil. So if I just pull up the menu of one of my tier 5 Voidling minions, if I actually show you what the tier 5 Voidling minion actually looks like, it says right there that the Mithril Infusion is granting a 10% speed boost. So you can tell that on this particular minion, I do have a Mithril Infusion active. Although in today's video, I really wanted to get a good understanding of how much better that 10% really is, and actually run some tests and get some physical numbers that I can show you guys to deduce whether or not it's worth spending the roughly 2 million coins per infusion to put a total of 60 million extra coins on 30 more minions. So in order to do that, I've actually been running these minions for about two weeks now, and I tried to get the most accurate AFK numbers that I possibly could. As you can see, I am using an AFK dropper farm for my Voidling setup, and if you do want to copy that exact same design, I have made a video on that already. I'll leave a link down in the description below. But basically, what I try to do is I try to get a full 24 hours of AFK. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I was able to get around 22 to 23 hours of AFK when I actually didn't have the Mithril Infusion active. And then when I applied the Mithril Infusion and I tried to get some AFK numbers, the best that I was able to achieve was around 22 hours of total AFK time. Because of course, I did get kicked out of the lobby once or twice with the whole reboots that do happen every 24 hours. And getting perfect AFK AFK is really difficult, and if I had thought about it earlier, I just wouldn't have done AFK at all. But needless to say, I do have the results for both the non-Mithril Infusion collection and then the with Mithril Infusion collection here. So if I go ahead and open this chest to show you all of the loot that we got from the non-Mithril Infusion collection, you can see that this is the amount of Enchanted Obsidian we got, the amount of Quartz we got, and also some Soul Flow and some Enchanted Ender Pearls. So to talk about it a little bit more specifically here, we ended up getting two full rows of Enchanted Obsidian an extra three stacks and then 60 enchanted obsidian alongside an enchanted quartz block a full stack one extra piece and then a couple of just other miscellaneous items now the amount of money that this does earn isn't really the point here but i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we actually got from the mithril infusion collection because what you are more interested in is really just the amount of items that you get bonus from having this item on your minions and whether or not there's a big enough change so that you do actually earn extra money and whether this item is is worth using at all. So as you can see here, when we did collect the minions that all had Mithril Infusion, the difference is almost negligible. In fact, if you don't remember what we actually got from the non-Mithril Infusion collection, take a look at this stack right here. We ended up getting an extra 3 stacks and 60 obsidian, but with the Mithril Infusion, that only bumped it up to about an extra 2 pieces of enchanted obsidian and then just a little bit of normal obsidian. As for the amount of quartz that we ended up getting, I got a quartz block, a full stack, one enchanted quartz, and then almost a second enchanted quartz. But without the infusion, I still got that same one enchanted quartz block, one stack, and one piece, but I just didn't get as much of the normal nether quartz. Now, I am going to disregard the soul flow and the enchanted ender pearls because these just sort of vary and they're a lot more inconsistent. And soul flow really only happens when you don't AFK at all. As you can see, just by the soul flow here, I ended up getting a lot more soul flow than the non mithril infusion because I quite literally just wasn't AFK for long enough with the mithril infusion. But if we go off of the numbers alone here and we disregard the fact that my AFK was arguably pretty inaccurate, the Mithril infusion really doesn't seem like it's that viable. 
Now, I know what you might be thinking here. Well, if the difference is super minimal, then what's the point of even buying one? When is it even worth it? And is it even worth buying this item? Well, like I said before, my AFK was pretty inaccurate and I wasn't able to get perfect AFK for either of the two collection periods. But as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have been running these for about two weeks now and I've actually figured out quite a few points of discussion that I wanted to bring up in today's video. For starters, on average, the Mythical Infusion definitely provided a lot more materials than without using a mythical infusion and I actually noticed that my collection system right over here actually filled up a lot more than usual. On average these chests here for some reason tend to fill up a lot more than the chests in the middle and I found out that the chests in the middle section and the ones towards the edges that for some reason filled up more frequently actually did fill up a lot more with the mithril infusion. Now obviously I can't really show that to you guys because I don't really have those numbers but I can say safely conclude that there was quite a difference from upgrading to the mithril infusion item and the extra 60-ish million coins that I spent on putting them on all 30 of my minions definitely was quite impactful and it definitely did boost my income. So if I were you I would take the numbers that I got in those chests more with a grain of salt because it's really not the most accurate that it could have possibly been and if I had thought about it earlier I wouldn't have done any actual AFKing and I just would have let them go for 24 hours and tied up the numbers like that. But if anything, let this be a more realistic example of the fact that you are never going to be able to get perfect AFK. And that the numbers that I got in today's video were a little bit more accurate to what it would actually be in a proper real life situation. But with that out of the way, that leads me on to my next points in today's video. And that's going to be when you should actually use this item at all. So... As I've said before, the Mithril Infusion does permanently increase your minion speed by 10%. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably use Snow Minions, Clay Minions, or some of those traditional minions that a lot of people will tell you are the best for money or the best for XP. And just to keep things really simple here right now, if you are using Snow Minions, this item is basically useless. If I pull up the Snow Minion Tier 11 interaction speed right now, you can see that the base interaction speed for the Snow Minion alone, with no fuel, no beacon effects, no nothing, nothing special at all, the base interaction speed is 6.5 seconds. Now the thing is, if you add on the Mithril Infusion buff to this, it really only shaves off 0.65 of a second of time, which only makes the Snow Minion have an interaction speed of 5.85 seconds. Now the thing about the Snow Minion as well is because it's already got such a very quick interaction speed, you just won't notice the effects. So what I'm trying to say here is because the Snow Minion already has a very low base interaction speed, you won't really notice much of a difference with the Mithril Infusion, and while it will be be quicker and it is going to be 10% faster, you definitely won't be getting as much bang for your buck and the value of the Mithril Infusion does actually drop quite a fair bit solely because of the minion that you chose to put it on. However, if we go back to my Voidling example, which are actually the minions that I use in today's video, a tier 5 Voidling minion has an interaction speed of 39 seconds. Meaning that when you add the Mithril Infusion to that, you shave off a total of 3.9 seconds. Meaning that the total interaction speed with the Mithril Infusion goes from 39 seconds to 35.1 seconds. Now this is a much more substantial change and definitely a lot more valuable than putting it on a snow minion. And if you use any minion that has a really high interaction speed like fishing minions or for some reason Mithril and Hardstone minions, then you're going to notice some significantly better effects of the Mithril Infusion infusion and using all these minion speed boosting items are just going to be so much more valuable and it only really makes sense to put them on these minions that have a higher interaction speed. So now we move on to the final part of the video here. What's the final verdict? Is it worth buying? Should you use a mithril infusion? Should you buy multiple mithril infusions? And is it ever worth actually using this item? So as you guys saw from my pretty inaccurate testing here, the actual difference between the two minions doesn't really feel that much with the numbers that I got in today's video video, but because of the way that I did collect these numbers and the way that I was actually AFKing to grab all this information, we've already disregarded most of that information there, and it's safe to assume that the item is not bugged in any way and it is actually viable. Because the 10% increase isn't that drastic,
drastic and not as significant. We've already covered that it's really important to put this item on a minion that has a higher interaction speed by default, which means that if you are a player who is using snow minions, if you're a player who's using something like clay minions, or you're using any of the mining minions that tend to have some pretty lower interaction speed, then I would say as a general rule of thumb that this item probably isn't worth it for you. It's also pretty expensive to put a mythal infusion on every single minion that you currently own. And if you're somebody like me who has got 30 minion slots, then that will end up costing you around 60 to 65 million coins, depending on the prices. And as far as I know, you can't actually bin this item either, which means you are going to have to get somebody to craft it for you, or you're going to have to unlock the collection yourself, which as you can see, 500,000 mithril is a little bit harder for most players. And if you're somebody like me who doesn't really like mining that much, you probably aren't going to have the recipe. So all in all, if you are a rich player, you've got a fair bit of money and you just want to deck out your minions and you want to max them out as best as possible, then go ahead by all means put the mythical infusion on the minion setup that you are most comfortable with. If I had to suggest minions to actually put this on, it would be any of the ones that are currently in like the top 10 and any of the minions that are going to be consistently good for a long time. At the time of me recording this video, that includes things like the tarantula minion, the voidling minion, the quartz, obsidian, and lapis minions. But there are a lot of mob minions that have really good AFK capabilities where the mythical infusion actually would be worthwhile using. This item here, I would say, is more designed for later to end game players because like I've said, it's pretty expensive. The buff isn't super crazy and it's also very situational for the minions that you should be putting it on. So all in all, to give you guys a very straightforward one word answer, no, the mythical infusion isn't really worthwhile. And for the general public, I would say to hold off on actually buying them until you are pretty rich and you're very comfortable with the money that you have. And with that all being said, that's going to basically wrap up everything that I had for today's video. So hopefully you guys did find this useful or informative in some way and you were able to get a little bit more insight on the Mythal Infusion and its perks and all the buffs that it does give you. Like I mentioned already, it isn't really that worthwhile for most of the people that will probably be watching this video. But if you've got a lot of money and you want to max out your minion setup and get it as fast and as efficient as possible, then by all means, go for it. It isn't that expensive for the later game players and it shouldn't put too much of a dent in your account. But either way, like I said before at the start of the video, if you have any further questions, comments, or suggestions about anything that I had in today's video, then feel free to visit me live over on Twitch. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. I do tend to have a lot of open discussions over there all the time, whether it be relating to Skyblock or just things in general. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap up everything that I had for today's video. And as always, take care and peace. Right, what does this button do? What if I do this? Does this do anything? Oh my god, guys. What's going on? No way. You want to hit my keyboard? It's okay. I went. Uh, I went. <laughs> <laughs>